Yo, what's poppin' people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. And you know what we do before we get started. Go ahead and do your boy that solid. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn your post notification bell on so you'll know when your boy is going live or dropping this heat. And as we know, everybody is upset about your door. Why are we crying? Because he didn't shake the man's hand. I wouldn't have shook his hand either. He talking all that shit about me over the weekend. But we're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about a few things. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Great win for Colorado this weekend. But the goalpost shall move. So let's get started. Y'all know what time it is, man. Same, different week, same old bull crap. We're going to take a look back. Not us. I'm going to talk about a look back over the game this weekend as Colorado demolishes Colorado State and moves to two and one, which they should be. They should be three and one. Because, like I said, they still should have beat Nebraska. They had a bad game. And I'm telling you, they just had a bad game. That wasn't that they can't play or none of that. They had a bad game. And teams have a bad game. Going to be a bunch of teams have a bad game this weekend that everybody thinks is going to win. But somebody's going to have a bad game. And it has to happen. But let's talk about the game overall and what happened during the game. The game was a great freaking game. Started out slow as what we're used to. Colorado starting slow. We got to figure that out. First two quarters, or really the first quarter, they got to figure that out. And I think they'll figure that out as time goes on. Like I told y'all, they're going to get better every freaking week. It's not going to be the lag off and the bag downs that they've been having. They're going to get better every week as the week, as, as the season progresses. You know what I'm saying? They started out slow in the first quarter, just couldn't, couldn't move the ball, just couldn't stay on the field. But as the game progressed, and the rhythm got right and the tempo got right and everybody started to lock in you could see that you could see it you could see the ball movement the running of the ball the passing of the ball the routes that were running Shador and Will Shepard are still not on that locked in like him and Travis and him and Jimmy are and LeJante's moving on up in that spot where they're locking in on each other and they can they they're on that same page they're synced and they can uh yeah you going that way okay i got you offensive line phenomenal job just like i said in a couple videos back once they after the nebraska loss i knew they had figured it out Put Mr. Brown back in his spot where he belongs on that left side beside Jordan Seaton. Because that's where he was the first game. Put him back there. Put Khalil Benson back in his guard spot. They brought Philip Houston in, put him in his original position at that tackle spot. Now, Hank still got to get out the ball. Hank. You got to get Hank some help because he he's still a little weak in that middle. He got to be able to push. But overall, he did his job. They didn't get a lot of pressure on Shadour this game. And I know that all the pundits are going to say it was just Colorado State. 
those are the same punters that said they were gonna lose the cars. Haven't seen no on three video yet. I'm waiting on that on three video. JD Pacquiao, I'm waiting on that video. I'm waiting on it. Because you said Colorado was going to lose this game. Outkick, I know they're going to make some videos, but Coach JB, waiting on all the hate and all the moving of the goalposts that he's going to throw around. It's going to be a lot. Because when they win, it's an excuse. When they lose, they don't know what they're doing. Everybody's what you're gonna hear all week is why didn't they take the why didn't they run the ball to run the clock out? Wasn't supposed to do that. You're supposed to run it up. They weren't able to run it up, but they were supposed to run it up. Throw the ball in, get you another, get you another point on the board, and let them haters know. After all that hate, y'all gotta remember it wasn't just this game. It was last year. It was the wife. It was the son. It was the quarterback. It was the right receiver. It was all of them talking that ish. And somebody got to pay for that. Shout out to Roman Bean. The, the reward of the week goes to Roman Bean for posting that video that she been holding just for this game. She been sitting on that video and was like, hey, all right, now we can drop this thing so we can we can get this thing started out romy been sitting on that video she could have been dropped but she waited till rivalry week to drop that video big shout out to romy travis the best player in college football hands down point blank period full freaking stop there is not a player in college football that can do what Travis Hunter does. None. Period. At all. We don't even want to hear it. The man played over 123 snaps. Over 100 yards on offense. A pick. A couple of pass deflections. A bunch of tackles. The man is a one-man wrecking crew. And all these NFL folks are gonna be talking all week. What it, which side is he gonna play when he get when he gets to the NFL because he can't play both? Stop saying that. Stop saying he can't play both when he can play both. You let him play both. They don't want to pay him to play both. And that's gonna be the problem. Because if I was Travis, I'd be, hey, look, man. I want to play both. You got to pay me for both and make it do what they do. But Travis, hell of a game. Hell of a player. Shador, hell of a game. Still, some of them passes, you got to get rid of. Some of them, you got to go. When it's time to go, you got to go. Throw them. You can't hit the long ball every time. And Shador wants that big play. That's his biggest fault. Shador has those guys crossing, but he wants that guy over the top, and he wants him all the time. You don't have to get that play. He did better this game with some of that dinking and dunking and creeping up the field, but he wants that big play more than anything. The run game was solid. Micah has to start. Micah has to play charlie got to take a back seat i understand we were trying to get charlie his thing he got his scholarship charlie ain't rb1 let's just let's just say what it is charlie ain't rb1 charlie doesn't see holes or gaps the way he should to be rb1 michael you see michael's two big runs especially the one they called back that hole was plugged but instead of trying to go through the hole, Michael saw it close, cut that thing left, did his thing. That was he, That's what he did on that first run, 25 yards. That was supposed to be an A-half hole, straight to the two hole. But nope, it's closed. Got to go the other way. 
That's what you need in the backfield. You got to be able to have decisive people running the ball and hitting holes and getting yards. August Day, Augusta did his thing, except for the one fumble. Got to hold on to that ball, son. High and tight. All day, high and tight. You got to hold that thing up here. You got to lock it in. Hold it by that titty and don't let it go. Squeeze it. If you're running back, you understand that. But the running game was on par. We got to put some more. I know, I know Colorado is a pass first offense. They're going to pass the ball because Shadua has a freaking arm and he's accurate as hell. And But you got to run the ball more than you ran the ball. And you got still not enough motion in pre-snap. Need more motion in their offense. Need more tight end sets. It gives you another gap on either the right or the left side. And gives you another block. So we, we have to be able to do that. It helps with play action. You know, Spell Smalls got his catch. Did his thing. He was a little confused once he got out there and started running. Wide open. Looked up. Wasn't nobody there. Oh, shit. I got to go this way. But he did his thing. He did some good blocking. Khalil Benson was crushing people on that line. The freshman, that freshman tackle over there on that left side, on 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 Shadur's blind side, Mr. Jordan Seaton. Yeah, he the truth. Jordan Seaton was doing, he got one holding call, which is his first one all season. And, you know, you can't follow him for that. He's a freshman. It's going to happen from time to time. But for the most part, Jordan and Tyler Brown was holding it down on that left side. And that's the most important side of Shadur to protect, that left side. That blind side is everything. And then when they ran the ball and they crashed down on that Michael Golden, that left side, Wide open. Why? Why was it wide open? Because Tyler Brown <laughs> and that young freshman was clearing them holes out. Y'all get out the way. We got somebody coming through here. My linebackers. Nakai Hill Green all over the field doing his thing. I mean, what can you say? Them linebackers was ready and they was crushing and they was hitting. They was hitting hard. They was pushing people out the way. They was crashing down on them runs. They got a couple of runs, who And you can't be mad because a couple of runs get through every now and then because that's going to happen. That's football. But we going to go to the man that was next to him, the big 2-0, the man from my hood, from my high school, P.D. Jackson, only in the house, is Alabama. Y'all don't know nothing about it. That young man, crush. Still got to be careful on them tackles because that's two weeks in a row where he could have been called for target. Got to get better. Got to get that head up. Gotta get that head up, but he is out there killing it. I mean, killing the game. The man is, that defense is ready. You can't say no more about Mr. Livingston, that defensive coordinator. He got that defense intact. He's making the right calls, putting them in the right position. Still got to come out that man. It was good to run man yesterday because you knew that when you, we knew they going to go beat that man defense. But yet and still, got to mix it up. But that's all Baylor got on tape is man D. So when you change it up, they ain't going to know what to do. When you give them a different look, it's like Colorado didn't know what to do. When they had eight, nine in the box, sitting at the line, 
they had everybody up on the line three, four times. Like, boy, we covered it, boy. You, they were scared. <laughs> they were scared. Cam came in on a few blitzes, knocking, knocking that young Nicolosi out. I like it. Stoudemire stayed in there for Shallow, did his thing, got him a few tackles, a few pad breakups. I mean, the whole defense was on point, except for that fourth and one. How did y'all let that happen? That fourth and one, where they scored their last touchdown to get nine. I don't know how y'all let that happen because that hole was closed. I don't know how he squeezed through that. He got small and come out of that thing, but I don't know how. Had to be a whole bunch of holding going on or something going on that the refs didn't see. I don't know how he come out of that hole, but that gap was closed. But as a whole, Colorado played good, sound football on Saturday, and they did what they were supposed to do to secure the win. Now, you're going to hear all these pundits the rest of the week crying, well, it was just Colorado State. They were supposed to win that game. Yes, they were supposed to win that game, and they won that game. But then again, y'all wanted it to be closer than it should have been. You wanted it to be like it was last year so you could say nothing has changed about Colorado. Now, you can say that they haven't gotten, nothing has changed about Colorado, but it's the same team that they played last year. And they didn't do what they did last year. But Colorado brought in all those different players. Defense has gotten better. Defense is solid. They got cornerbacks, linebackers, safety. They got depth. It's what they wanted and what they needed. Yeah. Now you can switch people in and out. We had people hurt. Chidozi was hurt. Chidor, Travis, I mean, Shiloh was out. You know, some main pieces, starters was out, but you couldn't tell. Because it was still in shutdown mode. And they were still swapping people out. So the depth is there. The players are there. But you're going to hear a lot about... I'm waiting on all these pundits videos. I'm waiting on Fine Ball. Waiting on J.D. Piquet. Waiting on these... Racist people that out kick, waiting on some more pundits to drop their video because y'all know we gonna review them. and they should be out today, this morning, soon, and we gonna go through them because y'all know this way you come so y'all can see the hate. But we gonna find the haters. We know they out there. We waiting on you to drop your video. But all in all, Colorado was ready. Baylor's up this week, which is homecoming. It's a big game. It's a conference game. And Baylor played, who did they play? Air Force this weekend played pretty good. They got a couple of good running backs. Quarterback is halfway decent, but that's a game we should win. Only game I've told y'all I'm worried about is the UCF game. That game is a worry game. That game should be scary. But UCF is ball. And I told y'all, Gus got the, got the personnel that he needs to do what he does. And that's the only thing we truly worry about. Though. Everything else is easy. Easy mode. Everything else should come easy for Colorado after that. Um... Jimmy Horn, the refs missed a lot of penalties that game. And they called a lot of bad penalties that game. That catch Jimmy Horn had 65, 70 yards down the field. Bad call. That was the holding 
that was the holding call on the freshman Jordan C. That wasn't no holding call. That wasn't no holding. But it is what it is. You know. That that uh a CSU player should have been kicked out the game for that hit on Shadur. They didn't call that. Few pass interferences they didn't call on Travis and two on Will. I think Shador and Will Shepard are getting there. It's going to take them a little bit longer to get there. But once they get there, Will Shepard is going to be a menace because they, they're like, they just a half a step off. Because Shador passes are just hitting him on his fingertips. So I guess they just, they're half a step off. And once they get, once they get there, oh my. It's going to be wide open. But anyway. That's the gist of it. Good game. Now it's time to ready up for Baylor. Baylor's going to be a pain in the ass. Should be a winnable game. But what we're going to talk about in this next video is the goalpost moving. And the goalpost will move when it comes to Colorado. Wasn't too much ugly in this game. You know, it was just that they just couldn't get started. They got to clean those penalties up. And that's about it. Other than that, they played a really, really, really good all-around game. They played a complimentary game on both sides of the ball. The defense got a bunch of three and outs. Um, the offense made a couple of long drives to let the defense rest up and get back off the field and that's what you want you want your offense to sustain a drive so your defense can rest up so when they come back out there at full speed you don't want to go three and out as soon as your defense sit down and get water look at two or three plays they got to go back on the field that's not what you want you want sustainable drives where your defense can rest up and when they come back out fresh they're ready to bust hate that's what you want. Unless you go and score in two and three plays, then sorry, boys. Y'all got to get back at it. But it is what it is. We going to get out of here, man. We got this other video dropping in just a little bit. Probably an hour or two behind this one with the goalpost moving. I already recorded that one. So this one comes first and then now. So, y'all uh, get ready for that. Appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for stopping by. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, do your thing, man. Appreciate y'all. We out. Peace.